I clearly heard what happened at Parliament. But I would like to ask, does the Supreme Court has power over Parliament? The Supreme Court's role is to interpret laws. So initially what happened was that the majority leader, Afengo Martin, went to the Supreme Court to seek an interpretation on the clause that um, the MP, NDC MPs were citing to, for the Speaker to declare the seat vacant. And then there was some kind of injunction, but the Speaker said he didn't receive that injunction and he went ahead to rule. So the Supreme Court is asking for time to determine the matter before whether the seat will be declared vacant or not. The decision on that will be taken. Okay, I would like to ask, uh, same time happened in 2020. Where was the Supreme Court? And the Supreme Court couldn't ask, uh, by then, the Speaker of Parliament, Honorable Right Mike Okui, to rethink his decision. So I think when this kind of things happen, it is political bias and which which hunting each other. And uh, for, uh, for me, it really bothers me or even hates me that things happen like this. Sometimes I ask myself, does Parliament have mature people or just some um, uh, primary school kids? They do understand the law. They really know what is happening. But for political witch hunting and everybody's trying to play his or her game because maybe my party is in power so I have the other Friends, uh, other yeah, function to sideline other parties, but it is not good when this this kind of, this kind of thing happens. It really drags the country back. It doesn't make sense. Excuse me to say, it doesn't make sense at all. It's really how can those come in learn? If our fathers, our fathers and mothers are doing this kind of thing, how can we those come in also learn? So I think when this happens like this next year or another four years, another party also want to go by the Supreme Court rules, would the other party be okay? Would they be okay? If they're not be okay, then they have to go by the law. And I believe, uh, right, Honorable Afonio Maki knows the truth that it happened 2020, and then they were okay. They didn't fight back. So why him fighting back when he know that we know the truth that this majority 36, 136 against 137. So you have to accept. So that let's move on because we have less than 135 seats. Okay, but more, moreover, I have less than uh, four months, two months. To election. So why distract each other? So I think this they have to stop. What do you make of the Supreme Court gathering easily within less than an hour to take such a decision? Right less than twenty four hours after Parliament took its decision. I think right now Supreme Court look like a, a, a playing ground. Now Supreme Court is no more the Supreme Court that we used to know. People do not believe in the judiciary anymore. Because political parties appoint their people to hunt other people. So right now, the Supreme Court is like a praying ground for others. People don't take Supreme Court any serious. But what they are doing, they are trying to disgrace the law or the institution, offense in the constitution. The constitution. It's not good. It is not good at all. They have to stop. So the latest update is that the Supreme Court has ruled that Parliament should hold on with the decision to declare the four seats vacant. So the MPs, according to the Supreme Court, are still MPs. Their seats are not vacant. Okay. So now there's some kind of war between the two branches of government. Uh, we are not sure whether the speaker is going to head to the ruling of the court. Um, what, what do you think the speaker should do now? Well, okay, I'll take it from yesterday, how the events happened. So I think from how it happened, um, the speaker like was under pressure, but he still did what he had to do per the parliament per the structure of parliament so now that ndc is in quotes majority um well i think he should have first of all waited but then like he was under pressure we waited for he should have waited for um the court to come out of his ruling should have waited for it but then now that what do you call it um it's happened that the court has now ruled Yes, I do think that probably maybe it will change things on Tuesday because this is a big surprise to me. The court's ruling is right because then from his perspective, it has to come from the party and also the um, the MP also has to inform the party. Then the party will now inform the speaker. So in all that, in their whole discussions yesterday before back being declared and even after, it wasn't done. MPP had not come formally to inform the speaker that this and this and that. So probably, probably... Now that this court has given a ruling, I do think that um, it's a fair case. Um, Tuesday will show if 
Bagmin will actually take the ruling on us. If he overrides or overlooks the ruling from the Supreme Court, then we can now say that probably maybe there's a friction between the two arms of government. But then I know he's a man that would follow the structures and rules and checks and balances. So hopefully Tuesday we see how things go. I feel like Mikey was saying that the party should have informed them. But that's not what the law says. Do you think this um, debate on the law will, will have any impact on the election with, with this few months left? Um, it will. <laughs> it will because come on, it's politics right? and both parties are involved. So it's, it will. I just think maybe, um, yeah, we should just await for what comes on Tuesday and yeah, we shouldn't be pressured to do anything here yeah, not to bring conflict and yeah just abide by the law mm -hmm.